Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. If you didn't know it by now, the decisions you make, they do matter. You are accountable for the words you speak. You're accountable for the life you live. Guess what? You are accountable for how you lead. Decisions really does matter to God, and that's why he holds each one of us accountable. Every individual is going to give an account for their life. And we know that every individual one day will bow knee to God and uh, profess that Jesus is Lord. You know, um, what else uh, is unbelievers will be held accountable also? They will be held accountable for rejecting the truth. We find it in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 5. Everyone is going to be held accountable. Decisions does matter. Uh, whether you uh, want to accept it or not. And a lot of times we're living in a world today where people want to blame other people for the lives uh, they're living and the decisions that they're making. And it's really not about blaming people. It's really about people being accountable for the decisions they make. And many times uh, we people find themselves in situations uh, that are not very pleasant, and the consequences are not very good, uh, but they never really think about the decisions that they made got them there. Decisions really does matter. You know, in Psalms uh, chapter um, 39 and verse 1, God knows everything about us. He knows us through and through. He knows our, throat, our thoughts. Uh, <clears throat> he knows everything about you and I. David said... Uh, in that chapter, he says, you know what, that knowledge is just too high for me to understand. That he knows everything about us. He knows what we're going to do before we do it. There is nowhere you can go and hide from God. Um, you know, before you were even born, he knew us. Uh, that's what, uh, if you read that chapter, chapter uh, 139 and uh, verse 13, when it talks about he knew us before we were even born. Every person is fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous is his works. And that is uh, something wonderful to think about. That God knows everything about us. He knows what we're going to do before we do it. Our decisions does matter. He has mapped out our lives. And he, want our, he wants us to be in line with him by knowing him and understanding um, uh, what he uh, requires of us. Every person is fearfully and wonderfully made. You are important to God. But remember, we're talking about God. He knows everything. He knows uh, before we do anything. He knows the thoughts in our head. So, he saw us before we were ever born. It is uh, it, like, what, like what David said, it is just too high for understanding how... Uh, God has already ordered the steps of man. He's already seen the future before we even enter into it. That is something. You know, every movement uh, was uh, hid. Every movement was laid out before a single day had begun in our lives. Can you imagine that? Before we even started our day, he already knew about it. This confirms that God knows everything about our lives in advance. Our decisions do matter because God wants us to know him, to come into this relationship with him, and walk in the steps that he's already ordered for us. And I really believe that if we did, we would not have the issues that we have today. But also, Jesus said, in this world you're going to have trouble. And the reason why we're going to have trouble uh, what Jesus said is because they hated me and they're going to hate you. If you're a follower of Jesus Christ, they're going to hate you. And the enemy wants you not to discover the steps that God has ordered for you. But when we live a righteous life, uh, we will walk according to God's way. Nobody can predict with accuracy how long anyone is going to be here. But God already knows. He's already ordered our steps. So what do we do with this knowledge? What do we do with these things that we've uh, been presented with through the scriptures? 
Well, first and foremost, we live faithfully. We follow uh, God's word. We live for the Lord. We trust him. We love him. And we long to be with him. Because ultimately, it is up to God. Uh, everything is up to him when we leave here. It's up to Jesus Christ. So, it is all about his will being done on this earth. Uh, it's about God. It's not about us. It's about us giving him glory and uh, experiencing and loving and uh, just uh, allowing God to be a part of our life, serving him and letting this world know about the hope that we have inside of us because this is a lost and dying world that are making a lot of bad decisions outside of um, opposed to the word of God. And we have the message of hope and I hope that we will uh, be moved enough by the Holy Spirit to take that message to the world. Thank you, my friends. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101.